botella con sabor a chocolate. El envidioso es que no es odio, esperando a criticar. Te voy a firmar con los feelings para que me pasen los bates. Los cuero y los menores, chuqui con el arrebate. La tripita encendida con sabor a chocolate. El envidioso es que no es odio, esperando a criticar. Yo, en verdad, en verdad, 440. Los cuero y los menores, chuqui pa' enrolar los bates. En verdad, en verdad, 440. La tripita encendida con sabor a chocolate. Los cuero y los menores tienen un solo arrebate. De Santiago pa' el ciudad lo prendimos de un delicate. Me sacan una once como 700 bates. Mírame la cara, estamos sonidos. Los cuero y los menores, chupi con el arrebate. La tripita encendida con sabor a chocolate. El envidio sé que no es odio, pero anda a criticar. Te voy a firmar con los feelings pa' que me pasen los bates. Los cuero y los menores, chupi con el arrebate. What's going on, YouTube gang? I'm gonna leave this. I'm about to explain what the fuck going on because certainly people don't think that what I went through was nothing. Certainly, some people think that my sh what happened to me was nothing. Certain people think that that wasn't worse than theirs. So let's clear the air now. I'm gonna clear the air and keep it above and keep it 100. My shit was worse than anybody that I know. Let's keep it a buck. All my friends know that my shit was done worse. I've been with her since COVID, since COVID-19 started. She started problems with everybody, every fucking body. She dragged me into her problems and then she cheated on me multiple times on Instagram, Snapchat, all that, all of the social medias that I've been on. She cheated on me. And then she cheated on me in person. There's a lot of tea that nobody knows what the fuck going on. So if I were you, if you don't know what the fuck going on, keep your mouth shut and stop talking. And just listen what the fuck these videos are coming out. Listen what these fucking videos that are coming out. If you don't listen when these videos coming out, then sh then pay attention more often and start listening, start focusing. If you don't focus, you're dumb as fuck, gang. So she thinks she all that, seeing that her shit wasn't worse, but let's keep it a buck, y'all. Her nigga stopped talking to her and stopped fucking with her. She st he started talking to, he started vibing with somebody else. So let's keep it a buck. You only got cheated on once, my heart. How many times I got cheated on? Multiple fucking times, gang. So you can't compare that your shit was worse than mine. When you were not in a talking relationship, when you were just in a simple cool relationship that your your niggas been in your house in your crib, you cheating them right, this and all that. So you can't say you in the same case because, first of all, I bought shit for her. I went to school behind my boss's back for her. I've done a lot for this girl that nobody knows. And nobody can sit here and say shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear shit from nobody that, oh, you're going to find love. You're going to find love. You're going to find a relationship. I don't want to hear that. What I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I'm going to keep it all the stack. I'm going to keep it all the stack. I'm going to keep it all the stack. Because what I'm going to say is that I want to be in a relationship. I really do. But the only reason why I have not been in a relationship is because I am scared that the trust issues that I have now is going to bring on to the new person I meet. And I don't want to bring the, the trust issues to that new person because I really, if I'm really going to love and care this new person, I don't want to bring her the past shit that I was in and now I'm suffering that that trust issues. I don't want to bring it to her. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense to y'all. So I don't want to bring it to her. So I want to focus on me and just focus on healing and I bring that, sh that trust issues back to her because I have mad bad trust issues that no one can see and no one can know. No one knows. Because it's hard for me to trust someone when I got cheated on 10, 20 times. So, yes, I'm going to have some trust issues because of that reason. I just got out of a relationship a year and a half ago. I just got out of a relationship a year and a half ago. And this relationship was like about three years. Three years. And I just got out literally in 2023. 
So it was three years and a half that I just got out. Well, I mean, in a year and a half, I just got out of a relationship. And I'm still suffering through a lot. I'm still fighting my demons. I'm still having trust issues. I'm, I'm, I'm still having trust issues to this day of point. I still feel, I still, in my mind, I still think about all the good shit me and that girl has. Me and my ex-girlfriend has. I still think about all those memories. All the good time that me and her had. I still think about all the things I did for her. I still think that, oh, it's all my fault. I blame myself for this shit. And no one realized to come and ask me, oh, you good, you good. What's going on? I blame myself for every fucking thing and nobody knows. I think about every good times that me and Unique had. I think about every moment, every second, and that's still stuck in my head. And I wanted to get the fuck out of my head. She moved on. I didn't. I'm still stuck with her in my head. My body don't give a fuck about her. I really don't give a fuck about her. I, I really don't. But my mind is still stuck with the past. It's still stuck with the past and nobody understand that, oh, it's easy to get through. It's easy to uh, move on. It's easy to move on. No, it's not. Because once that shit's stuck in your head, it's going to take a, a minute to clear it out of your head. And it's still taking a process because I'm still thinking about her in my motherfucking head. And I don't know why. All her pictures I still have, I still think about her. I feel, I still think that she's gonna get back with me. I still think that she's gonna fuck with me again. I still think that, hey, she gonna leave that nigga that she's with and come back with me. But no. I was wrong. It would never happen. It would never happen. I don't wanna be back with her anyways. Because it's all a bunch of toxic shit. All a bunch of toxic shit. And I hate it. I really hate it. I'm, and my head is, I'm thinking about all the fun shit me and her had. And I've been to her house, chill with her, Netflix and chill. I recorded videos with her. And I had a dream about her one time. And actually second time. That my dream is that me and her come in peace. And I, I addressed how I felt to her and she started breaking down. And that was the dream on the last video I made. But nobody don't get it. Nobody gets it. Yeah, it may be easy for the for her to get over me, but it's hard for me to get over her. If that makes sense to anybody that's watching this. It's hard for me to get over her. It's easy for her to get over me. Because huh, right there, another nigga. Huh, you know what I'm saying? But she don't think the fact is that Damn, I fucked up. Damn. He was a good Puerto Rican. He was a good man to me. He didn't do nothing wrong to me. Yes, I commit. I was a little toxic with her when I was with her. But I'm fixing my shit. I'm fixing my shit. But what went through her head is that he broke up with me. I'm going to another relationship. Uh, that one broke with me. Next relationship. Uh, he broke with me. Uh, next one. Next, it goes on, it goes on consistently, it goes on. Next relationship, next relationship, next relationship, next relationship, and it keeps going on. And with me, it's totally different. When I've been with this person for three years, and I really love and care for that person, it's going to be hard for me to get over her. Really hard. And it's still processing my head. All that shit that is in my head is still processing. I still have pictures of her on my phone, saved onto my phone. And I still look at it and think about her. Damn. I lost the most beautiful girl that I really loved and cared for. Damn. I get to see her every time. Damn. She was the only girl that I could see every day, that I could have been with her every day, hang with her every day, see her over the weekends, chill with her with the weekends, go to her house over the weekends, vibe with her, watch Netflix, and you know what I'm saying? But the other girls I've been with, I don't chill with them. They're not in my city. Like the Facebook girl, the Mexican girl, they're not in my city. They're not in my city. To me, to be able to say, yeah, I'm a vibe with you, we go, cool, we go, cool, we da da da, and I won't, you know what I'm saying? You not there in my city to be able to say, yeah, we we cool, or such and such and such. But yeah, that that's what's going on, and that's why I want to let y'all know what the fuck going on. That's how I feel. 
That's all I'm feeling. And that's, I hope people understand what the fuck going on. I hope y'all stay tuned and like, comment, subscribe. We out, dude, bitch. Así roncándote de con la boca cerrada, quitándote de una vaina.